So it seems like every YouTuber at the moment is getting sponsored by Raycon. Well, this video is not sponsored by Raycon at all. We're not taking a look at Raycon earphones because honestly, I feel that people that are getting Raycon sponsorship are not actually testing the products themselves. But anyways, we're not talking about Raycon. We're talking about something else. I have the Padmate Pamu Slide Mini earphones here that were sent over by Alex over at Padmate. So thank you very much for providing the sample for review. I really do appreciate it. I had never heard of Padmate or Pamu before. I've never heard of it, but it turns out that people have actually endorsed Padmate. It's like this brand's a little hidden gem. You know, no one's heard of it, but people should be hearing of it because in this review, I'm going to tell you that these big Galaxy Buds I would have compared them with AirPods, but I only got knockoffs, so sorry about that. But bringing Raycon back into the equation, everyone's saying that Raycons are cheap and everything like that, and you get 10% off, which is only like six or seven bucks off their actual product itself or whatever. You can buy these at the moment for $49.99 USD. They last longer battery life than the Raycons that are being offered at the moment. And these are just nicer. I like them. And with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way and possible bagging of Raycon, let's get into this review. A big thank you to Alex over at Padmate for sending this sample out to me for review. I really do appreciate it. He sends it to me via TNT Post, which took about 10 days for shipping. Could be different if you order from the actual website, though. I assume it will probably be just normal free shipping, which could take about 30 days because of all the stuff in the world at the moment. Now, I'm not sure if it's Pamu or Pamu. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to call it Pamu. But the Padmate Pamu Slides... Are priced at 69 USD, which is about $100 Australian. Now, if we take a look at the current pricing of some of the more expensive ones, such as the Galaxy Buds, which are about 138 USD or about $200 Australian, we've got Apple's AirPod Pros at 276 USD or 399 Australian. And even the Raycon every day is at 80 USD or 115 Australian. Uh, the Performer ones are 120 USD, which is $170 Australian. These ones are the cheapest ones out of them, and sometimes cheap is good, sometimes cheap is bad. So what we're going to find out today is if these ones are any good for their price, and if they can match up to other wireless earphones from other companies. Spec-wise though, we've got 30 hours of playback time, we've got auto pairing, Type-C fast charge, IPX6 water resistance, which protects the earphones from rain, water and sweat. And with the IPX6 certification, that means it can resist high pressure, heavy sprays of water, which I don't imagine anyone doing. If you accidentally drop them in the toilet, well, you can pick them back up and wash them and it should be fine. They've also got touch controls as well, wireless charging, and you can get them in several different colors as well. Well, only white, pink and green but black looks nice. Now, if you would like to check out these earphones, there is a link down in the description below. However, that is an affiliate link. So if you go through that link, I will earn a certain bit of commission from a product that you purchase. I'm not sure if it works with clicks or not. I think it's more for any product you purchase by going through that link down in the description. So you don't have to use that at all. You can use another link to get to the Pamu Slide Minis, but the link is there for your convenience. If you want to have a click and have a scroll through their products and stuff, feel free, but it's not that hard to get to the Pamu Slide Minis. It's just on the front page, basically. You just click the link, there it is, done. Don't feel obliged to click that link. I'm just letting you guys know. It's just a bit of a disclaimer, that's all. All right, the package that I received is actually pretty big. I mean, the box is this big just for little tiny earphones. They might have given me more than what we agreed on. I don't know, we'll see what happens. All right, let's open this up and see what we get. Ooh. Things exciting. Ooh, okay. They attach so much paperwork to the actual packaging itself. I thought there was an actual bonus in the packaging, but no, it's just this here. It doesn't look like wireless earphones just yet, but just wait for it. All right. Okay, and here we are, the Pamu Slide Minis. Look at that nice, shiny font. Ooh, ooh. It actually does feel quite premium, i got to say. Now, on the box, it does say that it has Qualcomm AptX, which on the website, it does say that this does feature a Qualcomm chip for Bluetooth connectivity and all that sort of thing. And on the side, it basically confirms all of that just there. The box does feel quite nice, decent quality. On the back, just says that it's the Bluetooth 5.0 dual microphone, noise reduction, touch button, IPX6 waterproof certification, 10 hours of music playback. And we've got where it's made, as well as the Facebook link and their website. Uh, the battery capacity, I completely forgot as well, is 400 milliamp hours in the actual charging case, and then 85 milliamp hours per earphone, which is decent enough. I think that should last quite a while. And on the side, we just have Pamu. That's it. Okay. Pamu Slide Mini. Yep. Okay, 
How does one open this? Oh, it just opens like that. Oh, oh. Put the earphones into the seat and fully charge the case. Take out the left and right earphones from the charging case and open the Bluetooth. Search panel slide mini and we're all good to go. All right. So we do have the case and the earphones. Do we just lift this out? Oh, okay. We've got them just there. And then we have the actual earphones themselves which have the little tip to sit in your ear. And they've also got, oh, they're already on. I may have accidentally switched these on by just touching it, but that's okay. But they've also got this rubber grip going around the top of it here. to obviously sit in your ear quite comfortably. So that is quite good. There's also the charging contacts just there as well. This review was going to be serious. I can't help but looking at this and thinking it's a face with eyes and a mouth with the tongue screaming out. Hey, cool packaging though, I gotta say. Inside of here, we get our additional accessories, such as a little carrying bag, instructions. We've got all the tips and all that sort of thing to tell you which ones are the right size for you. Uh, the USB-C cable just there. And yeah, all the tips just basically come out. And that's about it. Now as fair game, I do actually have some Samsung Galaxy Buds here that I will try with these and see which one's going to be better quality. I was going to try them with AirPods, but I've only got sort of knockoff ones, whereas these are the real deal Samsung Galaxy Buds. So I figured that this would be a better match against these ones. And also the unboxing experience of the Galaxy Buds is very basic. You just open the box and there is everything. You get nothing else. No bag, no nothing. Come on, Samsung, give us a free bag at least. All right, so we've got the charging case here. We'll just remove the nice tape stickiness. It is a crime to pull a screen protector or a film protector off a product very fast. You must do it slowly. So they just sit in there like that. The contacts are just there. So they just smack bang straight in there. And that's basically it. Got four little lights just along there. The USB-C connection just there. The input is 5 volt at 300 milliamps. The capacity is 400 milliamp hours for this base here. And 85 milliamp hours per earphone as we discussed earlier but everything is there and all looking very nice. And of course, what I also want to do is test the wireless charging. So I'll just put that on there and there we go. No worries at all. So that is good. Wireless charging can be done on these. And then comparing them size-wise against the Galaxy Buds, you can see these are a lot bigger, but I'd say the speaker drivers would probably be about the same size to be fairly honest. I'm not too sure of the size of the driver inside of these or not. If I end up finding out, I'll let you know during editing. Putting them side by side, of course, these are going to just fit in your ear quite nicely. These are going to stick out just a little bit, but I'll showcase what they look like in my ears anyways, because my ears are very strange with earphones. I have to find the right fit and shove them in at the right angle and all that sort of thing. The Galaxy Buds fit in my ears reasonable, but hopefully these will fit quite nicely. But yeah, build quality wise, the Galaxy Buds actually feel quite cheaper, maybe because they're a bit smaller but they do feel a little bit cheaper, whereas these ones feel a little bit more premium because they've got, I don't know, the rubber grips around them and I don't know, they just feel a little bit more solid. All right, so if we want to charge these up, we just drop them in. That's it. Sorry, my bad. I thought these were holes for the microphones, but obviously not. I was wrong. That's probably the microphone just up there or at the bottom, maybe. I don't know, but there's little LEDs on there to tell you if they're charging or not. And then we've got the lights along here that we're on just before to tell you if they're charging. They do come on. There we go, just there like that. Okay, so I'm gonna connect them with my Oppo Reno just here because this does not have a headphone jack, so I feel I may as well connect it to this. And checking Bluetooth, it comes up with two of them. So hopefully if I just connect to one, aha, okay. So you just connect to one and then it's paired already. So I think that's it. All right, using the default ear tips and just putting them in my ears. Well, they fit quite solid. Okay, one song I've been listening to on repeat at the moment is The Weeknd's Blinding Lights. So I'm going to test this 80s nostalgic synthwave trip on the Pamu Slide earphones and uh, let you know how they sound. Holy moly, that's a lot of bass. So just touching the earphones will play and it makes a little beep to tell you that you've pressed it. So double tapping on the earphones will go to the next song. And I think pressing three times goes to the previous one. If I've got songs loaded on here, of course. It's probably different with iPhones because I'm on Android, obviously. It's a little bit different. But so far, just using the default ear tips, they fit quite well in my ears. The noise cancellation is quite good. I can barely hear myself talking at the moment. Playing that song was really, really good. So at this point in time, I'm actually going to pair these up with my computer. 
And what I'm going to be doing is editing some videos, which can take anywhere from two to six hours, depending on the video. And I'll have these in. I'll be listening to some music in the background and I'll let you know how I go with battery life and then we'll continue on with this review. All right, I'm back after about a week of using the Padmate Pamu Slide mini earphones. And I gotta say, I'm impressed with them. I got 10 hours and 38 minutes total playback time on 80% volume, just playing the Doom soundtrack, well, the Doom Eternal soundtrack, just on repeat, 10 hours and 38 minutes. And then they died and I had to charge them in the case. And it only took like 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes or so. And they were good as gold to use again. I had no issues with these. This is what they look like in my ear, by the way. They don't fall out. They stay quite comfortably in my ears. I had no dramas with them. I did connect them to my computer, and unfortunately I made a poor decision of putting my little Bluetooth cheaper USB dongle inside of my computer case. It doesn't really connect well with Bluetooth devices. That's my bad. But connecting to my iPhone 10 and walking around the house and stuff, it was fine. It connected and it wasn't an issue. So that's all good in that regards. With the Galaxy Buds, I get around five and a half to six hours of playtime usually around the five hour mark, honestly, and then it just dies and then you gotta charge them again. With these, 10 hours, continuous playback, as promised, no problems at all. As a comparison, what you're gonna hear is a bit of an audio test. I know it's very hard to show audio tests on these videos and stuff like that. I put the Galaxy Buds, like so, put the Pamu slides, like so, and recorded the audio. So the left channel is gonna be dedicated to the Galaxy Buds and the right channel is the Pamu slides. So have a listen to this audio test, of two different songs. Tell me which one you like, but remember, left is Buds, right is Pamu slides. <laughs> Now, to distinguish between the two, that was at 100% volume. Obviously, these are a lot louder than the Buds. There's a lot more bass on the Pamus. The touch controls seem to work a lot better on these than they do on these because it's, you know, more of a grip sort of thing, you know? You've got all of that area, whereas the Buds, you've just got that. It just, it just, it's weird to me. Uh, microphone quality was also exceptional as well. Pretty much on par with these, to be fairly honest. It all comes down to this. If you basically want Galaxy Buds or something like that, but you don't want to pay the price tag for it, go with the Pamus. My honest opinion, they're absolutely worth it, 100%. Not because I was sent these for free or anything, absolutely dead set honest. At the moment, recording on the 15th of July, they're currently at 50 USD and they ship worldwide for these. And they are of exceptional, exceptional quality. I'm really, really happy that Padmate contacted me and asked me to have a look at these because honestly, highly recommended. And uh, it beats Raycon for sure. Every YouTuber is talking about Raycon and well, I just talked about these and well, I can tell you they're probably way better than Raycon. But anyways, that's just my opinion. When you start to go with cheaper options, you usually find that quality lacks and stuff. But for these at the sale price now and even their regular retail price, it's a steal for these. Absolute steal. So if you're thinking about it, go check it out. As explained earlier, there's an affiliate link in the description below. So when you click that and purchase a product, I do receive some sort of commission. I think it's 10% I receive, which is quite high, honestly. So uh, just letting you know that if you do click that link, there is a commission rate for me. So feel free. You don't have to click that link. You can go check it out elsewhere and get to it that way. That's absolutely fine, but it's there for your convenience if you want to do that. And if you want to support me a little bit, that's fair enough. Honestly, I try and stay away from looking at earphones on my channel, 
but I was kind of looking for some for my own personal use, and I got the Galaxy Buds, and I just wasn't happy with them. And then Padmate contacted me and was like, hey, do you want to have a look at them? So I did. So thank you very much to Padmate for sending these out my way and letting me have a look at these. I really do appreciate it. And it adds content to the channel. People probably haven't heard of this brand before, and they wonder, oh, okay, should I go with these or not? Well, my recommendation is yes, go with them. So that has been the review of these. I hope you all enjoyed this review for what it was, and I'll be back to my regular schedule pretty soon. I've got some phones to have a look at, of course, so we'll be doing that very soon. But otherwise, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it, as always. And I always tell you people, be good people, take care, stay safe, and also, if you didn't know, my Discord is open again, so feel free to join. All right, everyone, thanks again. I will see you next time. No Galaxy Buds. Yes, thank you very much. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.